Chini, chini. There you are. I want my three wishes. You ready? I want a double double with cheese and a lot of onion. Today we'll show you how to make an external battery for the GoPro Hero 10 Black. I've been using this camera for a while now and this is the battery I've been using. It's 1.7 amp power and the problem with this battery is that it only lasts for about 45 minutes max. Most of the time it's less than that, between half an hour to 45 minutes. And that's very pathetic because I always have to replace this battery. A long time I need to take a quick shot and I try to turn on the camera but it didn't turn on because the battery is dead. And that's why I need to make an external battery that is bigger and lasts longer and can be easily swappable. And this is the battery I'm going to use for this project. It's 5 amp hour, so it's 3 times the capacity compared to the original GoPro battery. And this can easily last for over 2 hours. Take 5 more and put in my pocket so I can swap them out. All of them should last for a whole day. So for this project, you're going to need a original battery, a GoPro mount, a medicine bottle, empty bottle, a 2170 battery case made from PVC pipe. I'll put the link in the description if you want to see how I make this. And finally, the Tesla 2170 batteries. Let's get started. First thing we're going to do is to make a dummy battery. And we need an original battery for that. So what we have to do is to remove the original battery from here and keep the BMS. And then you can solder the wires from the BMS and you can run the wire to the outside externally. At this point, I'm sure some of you might ask, why don't I just use the USB-C connector and connect it in here, and then connect this to a USB power bank and get done with it? Well, because this is a GoPro 10, this USB input has to be two amps or more. And it is extremely picky as to which power bank will work with it. This is a GoPro 7 model and I use an external USB power bank with it. You can see it's really small inside here. There's only one cell. So it's very small and portable. But I cannot use this power bank for the GoPro 10 because this cannot supply 2 amps to the USB port. And most small USB power bank like this do not have 2 amp output. And that means you have to use something bigger and that would defeat the purpose of a GoPro, right? You want it to be small and portable because you're going to mount it on your helmet, on your wrist. And that's the biggest problem with the GoPro 10. There is another problem with the setup and that is the USB port here because it's always plugged in like this. It's sticking out too much and because it's an action camera, right? Because you always move around. One of those days, you're going to bang into this connector and you're going to break the connector. And that will be the end of your GoPro. And that's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when it will happen. And that's why I want to use a dummy battery with an external wire that comes out for this setup. Now let's make a dummy battery, shall we? Let's peel this off. Now this will come out just like that. Now we need to find the positive and negative terminal that is soldered onto the BMS. So here's the connection between the BMS and the battery. And I already broke the connection here. But that doesn't matter. We're going to have to cut this connection anyway. We just need to know which terminal is positive and which is negative. And I'm going to use my voltmeter for that. So let's see what we got. 4.3 volts. Alright, so on the left side should be positive terminal. Now let's double check that. I'm going to switch over. And try again. It should show negative sign. There you go. That's a negative sign. Negative 4.3. So the terminal on the left side is a positive terminal and here is a negative terminal on the right side. 
So now we'll just cut it away. Here is the BMS and I saw the wire to the terminals and then I take a piece of EVA foam, drill a hole and I thread the wire through the other side. So this is 10 millimeter EVA foam. People use it a lot for cosplay but this is my cosplay. Now this looks just like the original. I use double sided tape to stick it on the plastic and I also use clear tape and wrap it around to further secure the foam to the plastic. Now it's pretty secure. Now we can just push it in just like that and I put a piece of duct tape so I can pull it out when I have to easily instead of pulling on the wire which is not good. Next step is to make a door for this because the original door doesn't have a way for me to pass the wire through. I can just drill a hole through this door but that will make this door not waterproof anymore. I want to save this door in case I need to go underwater so I can use this battery in here and then I can use this door. To make the new door for the GoPro I'm going to use, you guess it, EVA foam. I'm telling you this material is a wonderful material you can do a lot of things with it. So it is going to fit in here like so but there's a band here and there's a band here. I'm going to use my heat gun and heat up the foam when the foam is hot enough and when I try to bend it it will retain the shape of whatever I'm trying to shape it with. Alright, it's hot enough now. Let's give it a try. And that's what it looks like. And next step, I'm going to cut a groove. A fit into this bar right here. And that is the groove that I have to cut. Here we go. Now I'm fitting here just like gloves. I'm going to do the same thing for the other side and that should be it. Here we go. Now let's give it a try here. That's beautiful. Next step, I drew a hole on the foam so that I can run the wire to the outside. So I'm just going to thread the wire through this hole. Now you can thread the wire through just like that. And then, boom. Next step is to solder an XT30 connector on. Here we go. I've got the XT30 connector in. Next step is to make a battery housing. I'm using a medicine bottle and here is the dimensions of the bottle. It's 10 centimeter tall and about 5 centimeter in diameter. We've got the Tesla battery on the PVC case. Now I just need to put it in the bottle like so and it goes in like that. I drew a hole on the side of the bottle so I can run the wires to the outside and I can cap it off. I got double sided tape on the cap. Now I can glue the GoPro mount right on it. Now I can just mount the GoPro on just like that and then connect the wire together. See the light blinks? That means it's connected. Now we can turn it on. There we go. It's on. To make this bottle waterproof, I'm going to put some glue in and seal this hole. I also cut a round piece of uh, EVA foam and I put on the bottom of the cap here so that when I close the cap, it will be waterproof. The only thing that's not waterproof is this connector here. This part here is still waterproof. It's very tight on the uh, GoPro. So even when I drop this in water, 
it will take quite a few minutes for water to get in so to make the whole thing waterproof if I really need to get into water I'm just going to use duct tape and just tape this part here on the connector uh, just tape it around the connector real good and that will prevent water from getting in the connector and uh, I can get into the water maybe for a short period of time there are a few advantages of using a medicine bottle for this number one as you can see it's very stable it can stand on its own so I can use this as a tripod another advantage is that because this bottle is so big it floats in water the whole contraption floats in water so if I accidentally drop this in water it will float and I don't lose my GoPro moment of truth camera is on let's see if it works yep it floats and the camera is still on it's underwater now there we go working good with this contraption here I can say that I have an unlimited amount of runtime for my GoPro if this one in here runs out I can just replace with a new one and I can just keep going and going and going this XT30 connector here gives me a lot of flexibility because now I can just plug this into any external battery for example this battery here on my iPhone and I can use the GoPro all day long without having to replace or recharge the battery and also I can use this setup for other GoPro mounts for example this is a wrist mount and I can just remove this out of here and mount this on here and then I can just uh, tie this battery on here and I can just connect this battery to this connector and then I can power up my GoPro with this battery with a different mount next is my follow-up after using this for about 10 days so I've had this contraption for over a week now and it has been amazing I took a trip to Yosemite National Park with it and it worked flawlessly without any problem at all I used the camera all day long taking pictures and videos and I only had to replace the battery once this battery truly lasts a very long time on this camera my whole trip was three days I brought five Tesla 270 batteries and only used up four the good thing about having a bigger battery is that I don't have to worry about battery life so I just left the camera on most of the time and I didn't even have to turn it off it has a screen saver mode so it will turn off the screen after a few minutes of inactivity but the camera was always on I think the screen saver mode saves a lot of power because it lasts a lot longer than my estimated two hours so there you have it if you have a GoPro I would highly recommend you do this it's easy to make and it doesn't take long and the reward is totally satisfying that's all for now folks thanks for watching see you next time